If you happen to look up at the night sky last night, the moon recently has just been out of control. It's been beautiful. Well, there's a good chance if you looked last night, you caught a glimpse of the moon and Jupiter aligning in the sky. Some of our 12 news weather watchers were able to capture them shining so bright. You're looking at some of those photographs right now. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, making it easy to see against the night sky. And if you missed last night, you do still have a few more chances. Jupiter will be the brighter dot near the moon this week. So remember, if you have that second, look up. It's got to mean something, right? Like right Ooh. now is the time to buy a Powerball ticket. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Right? All right, let's send it over to Crystal Henderson now. Crystal, what is your forecast? You kind of are like, you know, the crystal ball of <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> that should be my next. Uh, <laughs> Opening line, right? Yeah, send it over crystal like the monsoon meter, right? The I want to shake you like a snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> the 12 News exclusive crystal ball. <laughs> well, it looks like the stars are going to be aligning for cooler temperatures for us here to start off our brand new work week. If you're doing a little sky gazing tonight, you're getting the green telescope here in the valley, even into rim country, but it's a bit iffy in northern Arizona because you probably already noticed if you looked out your window, we've got some clouds out across northern Arizona and they could get a little rumbly and drippy on you today. Even have to watch for some snowflakes to go flying at the tippy top of Snow Bowl. So sundown tonight at 611 if you'd like to look up at those twinkling stars and our moon will be 87% lit up. Here's some things to put in your calendar too. Stella and I are all over this. We cannot wait. We've got the countdown going on for the Ring of Fire solar eclipse. That is on the 14th the day after my birthday, so I got a little treat there. We have a meteor shower this month as well, so you'll be looking for that on the 21st and 22nd. And then the next full moon, known as the Hunter's Moon, is on the 28th.